Hi everyone, today we talk about your investing goal, why you need it, and also we're gonna talk about the current stock market. So let's dive straight into it. So first of all, the importance of an investing goal, it's basically everything. When you're talking about investing, it's all about knowing what you really want to achieve at the very end. Do you want to buy yourself a big car? Do you want to buy yourself, I don't know, do you want to plan for your retirement? or buying a house or I don't know what, like a very big, um, I don't know, holiday abroad that is gonna cost you a lot, a sabbatical year, that anything that you want to achieve, like say I want to become rich, it's a bit too vague. What you really need to know is your time frame, how many years or months. Well, you would at least have, know a few years, to be honest, need a few years to really become rich. But the point being, it's really important to know when it's time for you to start lowering your risk and start selling your assets or when it's time for you to, for example, maybe invest more, probably at the very beginning of your journey as you are, you know, entering the stock market or even the crypto market. That applies to all types of markets, the bond market, commodities, you name it. Everything needs to be, uh, uh, basically you need to be sure of what you're doing and what your goal is. Now, what have you got uh, an investing goal? That is very important. I want you to take away this bit. It's very, and you need to make sure that you have it in mind. You need to, I want you to let me know in the comment section when you're planning to like use the money that you're investing in 10, in 10 years, five years, one year, and what are your actions? I want to know everything and we can chat about it in the comment section. Now, looking at today's market and the market going forward, I, I see a lot of illiquidity in the bond market and that couple basically what the liquidity is is very, is when not many people are buying bonds because at the moment the interest rate the yield of the bonds is incredibly low like it's not really sexy at all and so what what basically happens is that the <clears throat> There is, it's a potential risk for the future. When there are, when, the, when there is high volatility in the bond market, that affects even the stock market because obviously the money is going to the to securities like bonds, as opposed to, for example, the stock market. On top of that, we have high uh, high um, volatility in the stock market. I see at the moment but most importantly is the high inflation. And I said it, I said the big I and word. The inflation is through the roof. And to be honest, that's something that normally calls for action, not my action. Well, even my action, but the Fed action and also all the other central banks. And what I suspect is going to happen very soon, and everyone has got a different opinion, but my opinion is that very soon, probably the fir in the first quarter of 2021, sorry, 2022, so we're talking about, yeah, in uh, four months from now, the Fed will have to increase their interest rates. The, Jerome Powell said that he is, he is quite patient about it, but I'm pretty sure that patience is going to come to an end very soon. We're seeing how they, uh, basically the inflation is just going through the roof. And again, it's, it seems that, you know, for example, if you look at 2018, which is our latest, um, the last time that the, the Federal Reserve has increased the interest rates because there was some inflation going on. So what Jerome Powell ended up doing was actually increasing the, the interest rates very quickly. And guess what? If you were to look at the stock market back in 2018, uh, leading into 2019, so end of 18 into 2019, a massive market crash. And that was due to obviously interest rate, the Fed causing a lot of pain in the market. Now, how do you want to prepare for that? Well, it, it kind of goes back to what I said at the very beginning. What is your investing goal? 
and that is why you need to know the market you need to know your goal for example if your long if, you, if, if you're looking at the long term that's the easy one if you look at the long term and you're starting investing today well what are you think what are you really even bothering just invest because it's for example if it is for your pension and you are at least 20 years away from your pension why are you even bothering it's gonna be fine just invest your money because in the long run we won't even remember 2021 and the market is gonna go up in 20 years I'm not a genius but I can tell you that in 20 years the market will be higher than today like I can bet all my money on this however if for example you need the money in five years well that is already a bit riskier because five years we've seen looking at the data that inflation could last two three years maybe even longer it has happened in the past especially in, in the old days it has happened that inflation lasted for longer and so what you could do is to start uh, dollar cost averaging in again it's gonna be quite risky to do it right now because the market is quite frothy and but listen we are not talking about the valuations here I'm talking about the risk because of the bond market this is why is basically like it might struggle a bit because for example if they increase interest rates the value of oil sorry the price of oil might come down and that's another thing that normally when the, the price of oil is high stocks do well okay so if you look for example at what happened in 2020 two things happened there was the crash of the stocks and also the crash of the uh, oil price and so you see that both happened at the same time exactly and now and then they both went up together so you can see that there is there is definitely a correlation so as inflation will uh, basically hit the oil price it may hit even stocks and stocks will be driven down at the same time if you are looking at just a very short-term speculation one year and it's you are at the end of let's say your investing session because obviously you can stay invested for all your life but and that is mostly if you have lots of money if you have lots of money well congratulations because I don't okay so I need to make sure that all my money is at work or basically it's somewhere safe so what I what needs to be done is for example if you're at the end of your session and you're still in profit then leave your money in the market of course take profit take away some of the money that you have invested and it's already like or making a lot of profit so cut your profits and put it away as cash because it might come well if you are at the end of your investing session and you want to soon use that money for something well it makes sense to take profit right but if you're just starting and you're and you just have one year to invest now I believe there is no really a good time to invest and that is my opinion I could be a, this could be just complete madness maybe looking at back on it in a few months it could we could say Marco you were totally wrong and I'm gonna make more videos to talk about what why I was wrong and maybe why I was right and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video